This is a paid advertisement. Hi, everybody. We're back with the Noon Show here on TV2. I'm David Burns, and this is Ask the Expert. Ron Popor joins us from Action Heating and Cooling again as we continue our discussions on geothermal heating and cooling systems. And right. there's a way to do it and do it right. And what you're going to take us to through right now are the steps to properly size a system that's right for you. Right. Uh, sizing a geothermal system is a little different than doing it with a uh, a regular furnace and AC, and mm -hmm. we wanted to take you through that real quick. So it has to be properly sized. Um, in this example, we're going to go back to an example that we've used in previous segments. Um, this is a geothermal system that costs approximately $4,000 more than the same system using a furnace and AC. And um, go ahead and flip the slide there. Uh, the, this, the house for this system was 2,250 square feet. Um, it had a heat loss, which is the heating load on the coldest day of the year of 62,000 BTUs per hour. It had a heat gain, which is the cooling load on the hottest day of the year of 38,500. And we've got to look at both the heating and the cooling loads when we're sizing a system. And we also want to maximize the financial return on the geothermal system because it is an investment. So in order to properly support both heating and cooling, we would install a system that we would refer to as a four ton geothermal system. So this system at full capacity, we refer to that as second stage, would provide 60% of the heating requirement. And you know, okay, alarms go off, only 60%. Yeah, but that equals 94% of the system run hours. And then we typically put in a supplemental heat source that's used only 6% of the time. At partial capacity, which we call first stage, that same system covers 100% of the cooling requirement. And the problem that we run into is that if we make the geo larger for heating, we oversize it for cooling. We don't want to do that. So this is why we use multi-stage heat pumps. It's one reason why we size to 60% of the heating requirement. And the other reason is financial return. So if you look back at the same example, imagine if we put in a system approximately twice as big as what we're recommending, it would cost you at least another $9,000 and it would dramatically affect the financial return. So there's another thing that we don't want to do. Okay, and to get started, a free proposal and free evaluation awaits you from Action Heating and Cooling. All you need to do is call the number you see on the screen, 920-337-0961 in Sturgeon Bay, 920-825-7003, actiongeo.net. Or if you'd like to see this again, go to WBAY.com and click on Ask the Expert. I'm David Burns. We'll be back with more of The Noon Show right after this.